What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar2 and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. Now, Coral Coral, which was set to release a full week from now, was just leaked by a leaker who got the issue a few days ago. This month's edition, which contains the Mega Evolution scoop, revealed a ton of new information, from new Mega Evolutions to shiny distributions and much more. Let's start off with the Mega Evolution scoop. So far, three new Mega Evolutions have been confirmed. The first one is Mega Altaria. Appearance-wise, Mega Altaria Altaria's clouds completely grow and expand to its head and its back. Mega Altaria becomes a dragon fairy type with the ability Pixelate. Now hold up. And it can literally learn some of the strongest fairy attacks like Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam. It makes way too much sense for Mega Altaria to drop its flying attribute and become a dragon fairy type. And Pixelate would be a great offensive ability for Mega Altaria if it were to become part fairy. While Altaria does learn some of the strongest fairy attacks, it only learns two. And it would be great to have a larger variety. Spot on, give me a cookie. Mega Altaria apparently gets a main boost to its attack and considering its ability is pixelate, it makes sense that Altaria is turning from a defensive Pokemon into an offensive one. But Mega Altaria man, we finally have the first Dragon Fairy type. I cannot wait to use this thing. Next up we have Mega Lopunny. Now Lopunny itself was a pretty decent Pokemon. It was fast and had enough bulk to take a few hits, but its attack and special attack stats were really bad and its three abilities don't help it as well as other abilities could, but Megalopunny is gonna change all of that. It drops the weak look and gets that strong confident look. Megalopunny gains the long wanted fighting type to become a normal fighting type and gets the ability Scrappy. With access to a ton of fighting moves like Drain Punch and Sky Uppercut, this added typing is gonna give it a huge advantage. It also finally learns High Jump Kick, which confirms the theory of Pokemon learning new moves in these games. It also apparently gets a main boost to its attack and special attack, and in combination with its all already good defenses and speed, this thing is gonna be a huge threat and you won't be forced to run a darker ghost attack to hit those ghost types giving it much more freedom. But now that Megalopunny is confirmed a generation 4 Pokemon, we now know that our Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will actually introduce new Megas from all regions, not just Hoenn, and Deontay wasn't just an exception for promotion. And finally we have Mega Salamence. Salamence was already a huge threat and you'd get chills up your back when you saw the opponent running one, but now this thing is gonna dump. Dominate. Salamence was a dragon flying type and while it did get stab on flying attacks which could provide good type coverage with dragon, it learned very few flying attacks that were not worth running in comparison to other attacks. So we all thought Salamence would drop that flying typing and become, for example, part fire. But Salamence actually retains its dragon flying typing to get the ability Aerialate. Aerialate gives you a 30% boost to normal attacks and turns them into a flying attack to give you stab. With the amount of strong normal attacks Salamence learns from high Hyper Voice to Double Edge, this thing will become a monster. You can even run an all out set with Outrage and Thrash to destroy all things in existence. It apparently gets a main boost to its defense, which I don't see being too helpful, but it will probably get a boost to its offenses and possibly speed as well. Moving on, more on Pokemon contests is listed. A new character known as Lucia introduces you and gives you your special clothes for Pokemon contests and she's listed to use an Altaria. I think it would be really interesting if they were to add in a final round with an idol at the end of the contest. If you were to face Lucia, she could use her Altaria and possibly even Mega Evolve it in the contest. We don't know how Mega Evolution works yet in these contests, but let's just hope that we can Mega Evolve in them. It would add a nice twist. In Pikachu news, it turns out that those five different outfits are actually exclusive to Pikachu and you won't see other Pokemon with them. But Pikachu actually gets special contest move for each of these outfits like Meteor Mash, Icicle Crash and Flying Press. And even though it shows these moves being used in battle, we don't know for sure and it's likely that it's contest exclusive. And finally, like the Torchic distributed on X and Y's release, there's apparently a distribution of a shiny Beldum holding the Metagross site for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for a limited time as well. And look at shiny Mega Metagross. While the blue cross does stand out, it grows onto you and I actually really like it. But anyways, that's it for this coverage video. Feel free to leave a like if you are hyped for these new Megas and let me know your thoughts on these new Mega Evolutions. Mega Altaria, Mega Lopunny, and Mega Salamence. There are apparently a few more Megas yet to be leaked, so be sure to subscribe so you do not miss the coverage.